Hey everyone, so I got a comment from Olad saying that the horizontal scroll bar really helped him out, but he was trying to figure out how does he make a vertical scroll bar. And in this scenario you can see I have my gallery with many rows, but I can't really see a horizontal or vertical scroll bar until I actually go all the way to the right and then I can see my scroll bar. So we're going to figure out how we can make a vertical scroll bar here while containing this gallery on one screen. So let's figure that out right now. So to start with, I got my uh, gallery with my columns and my horizontal scroll bar. You don't need this scroll bar down here if you'd like, but we're going to keep it. And if you'd like to learn how I built this, you can see my previous video in part one. So let's start off by putting our gallery inside of a container. Because what I'd like to do is have the gallery move up and down without these headers moving around. So I'm going to insert a container and just move it right down here where I want the gallery to sort of be uh, scrolling across. I'm going to move my horizontal scroll bar a bit down. So I don't want it to cover the whole screen. I just want the container to be there. Then I'm going to cut my gallery, go inside my container and paste it there. And then put the Y value to be zero and put the height over here to be 2000, just as an example. Now what we're going to do is insert our slider, our vertical uh, scroll bar. So we go to the input property and insert sliders. And to make it vertical, we're going to go to the layout property and change it from horizontal to vertical. And there's our vertical slider. Now you can see, unfortunately it is um, we can't fill it with white and I don't see any property here so what we're going to do is insert input a container and just make the container the size of the slider that we want put it all the way in the right and cut our slider and put it inside the container and just make it fit there and now we go to the container and make the fill white so now we got our white background and it doesn't uh, our headers or everything doesn't overlap it so now it, as we scroll it goes like that the headers doesn't overlap it now what we want to do is put this at the top which as you can see is a maximum value 100 so click on the slider and put the mac the default to be self dot max you can also just put 100 and what we'd like is as we scroll down we want this to move up the gallery so let's do that. So we go to the gallery, go to the Y property, and what it's going to be is slider, or actually gallery three dot height. So our gallery's height multiplied by slider, and in brackets, slider two dot value minus our hundred, because that's the maximum of our slider, divided by hundred. And make sure your slider has a max of 100 and a min of 0, because I'm going to use percentages to sort of calculate how this goes. And as you can see, as we scroll down, it goes up. And it sort of works exactly how we want it to be. And you can also see, if I play it, as I scroll down, I'm on row 12. I can actually navigate horizontally as well. So I can do both actions. Now, one thing you can see is there's like a white space here. That's because our gallery isn't uh, the perfect height. I just put a random number. So to make the gallery a prop the exact height that we need for the number of items, we're going to go to the height property and say count rows gallery three dot all items. This will give it 20 items, which is the number of items I put in my gallery actually in the items property. So just use the gallery three dot all items times and in brackets gallery three dot template height and now if I scroll down you can see it's almost there there's a scroll bar here because our height's not exactly perfect and that's because of the padding so my gallery has a template padding of five if I change that to zero you can see I got rid of that scroll bar but some galleries you might want to have padding of, of certain amounts so we go to the height again and it's going to be gallery to template height and in the brackets plus gallery three dot padding. 
and multiply that by 2, because padding actually happens twice, once at the top and once at the bottom of the galleries. And now you can see there's no scroll bar, and it's almost perfect. I still have white space here, and what I figured is you could just mess around with the minimum property, so I'm just going to make that 35, and now when I scroll all the way down, I get a little bit of white space, but not exactly. You could play around with that. And there we basically made our vertical and vertical scroll bar for this video and the horizontal scroll bar for our previous video. Now what you might be saying is, hey, I want to have these headers move around. Then actually put the headers inside the container, put everything inside the container here, and use this Y property on the container. It's on the uh, header, or actually the container itself. That, that'll probably work out. But most of the time, you want to leave the headers here. So let's prettify this a little bit. So I'm going to move these headers up. And I'm going to move my container like that. And now that's good. Now it covers the whole screen. So you can play around with that. So I hope this video helped. I'm, I'm really glad that I got the comment from OLEDman to create this vertical scroll bar. Because I feel like the scroll bar that came with the gallery doesn't really fit your needs too well, and it doesn't really match with the design of the scroll bars we made with the horizontal. So now it really becomes a uni uniform experience that the user can understand. Because now their scroll bars are this similar, and they know uh, much easier how to use them. And also, you could play around with, okay, maybe you want to sit, show the user exact moments set it here or maybe you save something and you want to show the top item so it's very cool to play around with this stuff um, thanks for watching the video please leave more comments that'll really help me for, uh, shoot, shout out or put out content that meets your needs um, thanks for watching